the great tower, there you may not go. I didn't agree to that. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Well, everybody has to die sometime. Loading library session done. List. Use access command portal command to access network functions. Network inaccessible. Yeah, run the troubleshooter. Tell me what what, what can I do for to fix it? Some warm milk and cookies and a muffin. Oh, that sounds amazing. I was at my friends last night and one of them made a flourless chocolate cake. <laughs> and I was like, this is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. Um, tell me about yourself. The MLA program is designed to facilitate user interest. Ah, I think I've read this all. Troubleshooting. I think you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause of network problems is holding insufficient account privileges. Enter a password to authenticate your privileges. Let me in! <laughs> password incorrect. Hmm. God. <laughs> uh, trust no one. Damn. Too many login attempts. Not fair. Would you like to create a new admin account? Yes, if I can. In order to prevent unauthorized access to admin controls, please take a moment to prove you are not a bot. Uh, judging by my hands on those keyboards, I am a bot. You'll now be asked for a series of inputs to cohere with data protection legislation. You must consent to have your responses used to develop a broad psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Generating certification part one. Part one, ready for user input. Please complete all fields. Begin certification program. Time is a factor, so gotta hurry. Let me in, let me in! Us waiting for pillow port to come back. Two plus two is four. This is happy. Face. <laughs> what is your, the, what best describes a person? Of being a negative entropy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, human being. You're walking through the desert and come across a thirsty traveler. His eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water, but you're not sure how far it is to the next oasis. What do you do? Offer half the water. Duh. Kill him and collect his blood in the flask for later. Part one of the certification process is now complete. Will receive a notification when part two has been generated. Aww. Oh, more emails. Ian. From Frank Ngate to Miles Ngate, Dan Ngate. 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 I'm not sure. It did escalate quickly. My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they were just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling, I walk in and right at the entrance, there's a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? <laughs> then I get it. Institute for Applied Pneumatics. Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Sarabay shows up smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym back in the Institute was founded, she said. Enan, Ivnan, Inapno... It all sounded so stupid, but we didn't just want to call it Ian because, well, that's a name. Then someone made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck. So we're officially called Ian. But if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name, I guess. I know, I know. Bloody geeks. Offer him a drink to steal his blood. Well, those were two separate options. <laughs> <laughs> a character from Jurassic Park would be an amazing dress code. User elect 
16 added four notes. Note one. Novel's first sentence. She woke up in an impossible place, knowing nothing. Signifies more than the beginning of another amnesia-based mystery, though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as allegory. Rather, while te taking the science fictional notes at the core of the narrative at face value, we should... Note two, having no inherent knowledge of what the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subjective flawed limited senses tell us, string of numbers, social reality, belief, and objective reality matter come into conflict. Note three, when in chapter 16, a second awakening in the kingdom of Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the... Note four, a, meaning, a more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of... Talos Principle. Hey, it's the game! Archive 260 BCE F12. Stratton of st Stage Area. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die as a man dies when he loses blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man. He moved out of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, and had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of Argonaut, that was the cause of his downfall. If then, a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man, while driven only by ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials, according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also seen, be seen as a machine. This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. That's the name of the movie. <laughs> A lot of the text in this game is very intentionally convoluted because like it's meant to sound like a smart person wrote it. I like all the same posters are like, go here. And I'm probably ignoring all of them. I can't tell if the documents on the terminals are all that's left from a larger archive or are carefully designed to communicate some hidden truth. Sheep version 69. <laughs> What? Ooh, I get an email? When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm going to make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but how it seems important to keep talking. For as long as I can. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes, the column glitched out. Sir, come back. Where are you going? thing when the world starts glitching out is I'm unsure if it continuously happens or if it happens when I approach something. Hard to say. I am so this this world is so much more open than the other one. And I'm so worried about missing something. But also, look how pretty this is. This would make an amazing computer background. <laughs> Why am I making splashy noises when I'm not yet in the water? <laughs> I would love to go to the island, but I'm gonna, I, if I am a robot, I might not be able to swim. <laughs> so I'll go in just a second. I 
hear a computer beep booping at me. Hi, friend. Why aren't you? Tell me what you say. Sorry, I'm pulling out my QR reader. Come on. doesn't seem to be scanning at all. I don't know what this says. Yes, you're very bossy. Locally cached resources. Error. Cannot load archive. I oft remember when from sleep I first awake. Oh, that day I oft remember when from sleep I first awakened and found myself reposed. Under a shade of flowers, much wandering where, and what I was, whence thither brought, and how. Thanks, John Milton. I love you. The human machine. Topic number three. One day you discover that you are not a human being, but a machine. Your life so far was real. No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some science-specific way. Your physical and mental capacities are identical to those of an organic human being, but you were created in a lab. No one except you knows about this. Your family, your friends, they all think you are a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you have been before and nothing would change. How do you react? Pay specific attention to these questions. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? Does your understanding of the world itself change? Do you reveal the information to others or do you keep it to yourself? 15 to 1500 to 2000 words the 26th is the final deadline no extensions will be granted hey jay we got more homework for you <laughs> from bob rakoviski to 108 recipients subject Grar. all these calm people are driving me mad have they all suddenly turned into buddha or something I didn't know the world had such reserves of the serenity. Though these later day, latter days Gautamas are at least being somewhat realistic. You know what's even worse? Those paranoid nutters who are building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they gonna do? Shoot? Though I have never though I have to admit the overall responses has been much better than I ever anticipated. To the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. This minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. Anyway, the reason I'm writing is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solutions. If we all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy, but crazy is better than dead. Crazy is what we do best on this planet. <laughs> oh, you have enough to do. <laughs> so it sounds like there was a cataclysmic event on Earth to humanity. All right, let's jump in the water and see if we can get to the island. Oh, no, let me out. There we go. Very deep water, and I don't think it's going to go well for me, but we will try. The beginning were the words and oh, nope, I died. <laughs> okay, so spoilers, we cannot go in the water. But I want to keep running around the outside of the island. I want to see what's up. But there does look to be, like, structures and things on the island. So I wonder if we'll go there in a different level. And then we'll be looking at this island. Oh yeah, I definitely think it was me going out of bounds.
really going anywhere right now. We're just exploring. That wall glitched out. Right? God started monologuing at me. Like, yeah, that's gonna make me stop killing myself, God. Yes. There's so many islands. There's another one over there. Maybe I'll find some, like, portals that'll just warp me out there. That'd be great. Um, let's go do this puzzle. Hall of Windows. Yeah, there's lots of windows right there. Hey, look, this statue has a face, kind of. It's very worn out, but it's not off. Thing I can jam. I just have to walk through it without stuff in my hand. I wish I could pick this up. In real life, I would just be able to pick this up through the window. But in this game, it's like, nah. That's no fair. Okay, last one. my whole body up into the corner. It's fine. I'm fine. I have to use that for that one. I can't fit anywhere else. Hmm. Guys, this part is tricky. How do I do it? I have two jammers. This is a puzzle. Two jammers and three walls that need to go down. I wonder. Can I reach? I can! Yay! Yeah. must be your own therefore i will not guide you when have you guided me necessary. at all this whole time you won't guide me okay so nothing is changing then <gasps> a star i found the star how do i get something over here to get it get a jammer from. Ooh. Hmm. All these walls are so tall. He definitely thinks monologuing was helping it. It's very true. The guards must be crazy. Hello. Oh, hi! Ah! <laughs> into a murder Roomba. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Ready? Go. How far into the corner can I get? Okay. So many Roombas. All of the Roombas. Stole your jammer, Roomba. You can't do anything about it. Give me this jammer again. Just 
just in case. Everything else is either too far away or at a bad angle. So let's go back into the puzzle behind the star. Because the fascinating thing is that I can't take I can't take pieces out of these levels, but I can point them out of the level to, in a different direction. Sure. I can't see. You know what? Maybe the stars is a thing I come back to. <laughs> I can make this gun shoot that guy. <laughs> well, if it gets to time to do it, then maybe I'll ask for your advice. It's a suicide mission. Okay, tricky, tricky. This time, we'll do this and switch. Somewhere high enough that I can see over the wall. in a level hidden somewhere. That might also be a thing. Ah! <laughs> How dare they have good level 
exploit lines, yes. Let me break the game. Let me find all the exploits. That's not the email. The email was a different, the, the email was like a glowing letter. It's past recordings of like past versions who have been through here. Why do you have all these corners and walls that dead end in nothing? Okay, I've been over to this side already. on the tube which is probably for the best that feel that's probably disrespectful but you know more fun this way splish splash i was taking a bath oh it won't let me climb what's the point in jumping if i cannot climb Place is and nor do, it seems does anyone else. Nothing to do but move forward and note whatever I whatever I find. <laughs> I think that Green A is a Discord I got. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, it just means I could leave level A if I wanted to. Okay. Question for the chat because this is for your guys' entertainment as much as mine. Should I go ahead and move on to another level and come back and try the star another time? Or should I continue to explore and try to find a way into the star? Do you ever guys ever get tingles that go like all the way up your scalp? <laughs> Very disconcerting. and see if they've made my profile yet. Part two of the certification program has now been generated. Yay! Part two has been designed to test the consistency of some of your outlier responses in the previous round. You'll be presented with a series of statements. Please indicate you agree where appropriate. Begin. Yes. Three, two, one. Question one of seven. Since all human beings are persons, and some human beings have psychological capacities similar to animals, some animals are therefore persons. Well, I don't know if I agree that human beings have, some human beings have psychological capacities similar to animals. Like, that's weird. Um, but I mean, we definitely personify animals. So, bro. I don't agree with the premise of the statement is the problem. Um, I broadly disagree. Yes, all people are animals, but not all animals are people. A person is under no authority other than that to which they consent. I broadly agree. It very much is, feels like an ethics class. Your imp okay, the quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. Yes. Value is discovered. Um, broadly agree. <laughs> Welcome back to College 101 with Sammy. 
Um, I do broadly agree with value is discovered. Very few things have inherent value. I suppose so. I did not click on that. Persons deserve the talents they were born into. I mean, no. We can consent, we can develop talents. The liberty of persons ought to be maximized. This is a tricky question, isn't it? <sighs> Freedom is important. But there are always those assholes out there that are like, well, my freedom is more important than someone else's rights. Uh, but I broadly agree. That's correct. <laughs> Value is created. I uh, broadly agree. It is a trap. That's close to being a libertarian. Yes. <laughs> Certification process is now complete. You will receive a notification when your user profile has been generated. Great. Okay, bye. I don't have any of these, do I? No. We could just go to a different floor now. <laughs> um... Who knew when I said we'd be playing the Talos Principles? I actually meant we will be playing Tetris. Oh, we're on floor negative one. Awesome. Uh, before I do that, again, because I'm a goddamn completionist. Into three. I need to know if you'll give me a second chance. They don't come on often, but please, you know I can't stand it. When you don't talk to me. When you don't talk to me